The government used Earth Day today to launch a long-promised resource. A new website will give Canadians access to ongoing research about the land, air and water around the oil sands. The government says it will show the world Canada's oil sands are not to be feared. But as Margot McDermott tells us, some say it's not that simple. This scientist is testing tissues from animals that live near Alberta's oil sands. The results will eventually be posted on a new monitoring website. Today the lab was the backdrop for the federal and Alberta environment ministers who jointly launched the new portal. To establish uh, real facts, real scientific facts on exactly what the impact of industrial development is in the sands. There was a huge uproar after water scientist David Schindler found deformed fish in the Athabasca River, downstream from the oil sands. Soon after, a special federal panel concluded that environmental monitoring of the massive development was a complete mess. The government pledged to clean up its act. We want to up the federal government's uh, game. The website is part of the promise to publicly release all scientific observations of how the oil sands are affecting the environment. It'll be good, I think, that everyone that's interested um, in the province, the nation or globally can actually go and, and look at this information and see the facts for themselves. Schindler says the website still needs independent oversight to make sure the government doesn't leave out bad news. People will still be suspicious that spin doctors from uh, government or industry are going to filter the data. And environmental groups have a lot of questions about how the raw information will be used. How is that uh, reliable is that data and if that data will actually be used to inform um, management decisions about the oil sands. It will take two years to get the new website up and running. Meanwhile, there are no plans to slow development. Both governments have approved so many new projects, the oil sands could more than double in size in the next two decades. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.